Hey guys, MKBHD here and welcome to another high definition video and today we're going to be taking a look at Google's latest creation. Uh, if you couldn't already tell, Google is, yes, one of my favorite companies and today we're going to be taking a look at this magnificent browser here. What you're looking at is Google Chrome 7. You may have noticed it looks just a little tiny bit different from other versions of Google Chrome, but what are we going to be taking a look at today? Uh, that includes benchmarking for some speed tests, some opening tests, uh, and some other things like that, and just getting to know this browser a little bit better. First of all, something I want to address as we go ahead and view about Google Chrome is that all your extensions will still work. So as soon as you visit the link in the description and of course check out the latest version of Chrome, uh, note that unlike Firefox and unlike Opera and unlike Internet Explorer, all those hundreds of thousands of extensions you have available are going to work. So that's just great. So the first thing I wanted to show you uh, was the new ability to use side tabs. Say I have a number of tabs open here, say Tumblr I have open. You might have noticed I actually do have a Tumblr now, might be a little bit late. What I want to do over here is uh, right click on the tabs and what we can do is hit that use side tabs button and you can see it immediately switches to this interesting little view that I kind of kind of like, kind of don't like, but you know it's, it's new and it's something most other browsers haven't had the ability to. I believe Opera does. And this ability allows you to just add new tabs simply just like this and uh, X them out on the left hand side here. It does save some vertical screen space. If you have a widescreen monitor, this can be very helpful as you don't have a whole lot of room from top to bottom. So this is really cool. And of course, in order to switch back, you right click and uncheck use side tabs and bam, you're right back into this view of uh, the top tab view. So that's the first thing about Google Chrome 7. The next thing I'm going to show you is over here on this wrench. This is something that has been constantly evolving through versions of Chrome. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show you right here, say so I type in test, of course we have Google Instant up here. What we're going to do is go to, well first of all, I'll walk you through this whole thing. Here you have the new tab button, which is control T, the new window and new incognito window button. There still is no ability to use a new incognito window, but or a new incognito tab. You can also have this copy button, edit, co copy and paste right here. So if I hit copy, you can just go ahead and copy what is highlighted there and go ahead and paste it just like that. Oh, it didn't exactly work that time, but if I had a text field open, it would definitely have worked, hopefully. Well, well, obviously these things are still in beta, but obviously, 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 obviously when you get this working together, uh, it should work when the full version of Google Chrome is out. Obviously, oh, I gotta stop saying that, by the way. You have the full screen button, you have the zoom buttons, and you have all your typical buttons here and now. You know, when you go under tools, you also have uh, the extensions button, which was usually in the main section of Google Chrome, but you have your extensions button over here on the left hand side under tools now, and you also have the ability to create an application shortcut, which I'm going to do now. When you click that, I'll go ahead and just put it on my desktop, I don't want it on my start menu or anything, and click create. It just makes a little, uh, little window here. Uh, and it's actually just a program, literally an application. You don't have a URL bar or anything fancy like that. It's just a Google a Google.com box. And you can, of course, use instant search in there. And it can be a nifty little application. Also, you have uh, that on your desktop, which I'll go ahead and delete. So that's a, an interesting little feature that's adopted from Google Chrome 6 that they've carried along into version 7. So now something I want to show you is the fish tank test. This is a performance test. Uh, it's pretty much the next best thing to the ACID 3 test, and this tests hardware acceleration. I have this link here in the description. It'll be shortened with bit.ly, but trust me, uh, when you visit it, it will be this link. I'm going to go ahead and paste it up here in the top, and we'll see if we can get Chrome to respond here. And we'll go ahead and visit the Microsoft. Uh, this is usually used to test Internet Explorer, and basically what you can go ahead and do is test uh, fish tank, this fish tank animation here. So typically it'll be running at a slightly higher frame rate, but right now we have this little fish swimming around the tank. In Internet Explorer, uh, when they introduced the new version, this was a, a big deal with hardware acceleration. And if we were using Chrome 6, you would be able to tell. Uh, this is 1280 by 720, I'm not sure. Oh, it's smaller here. Uh, it would be a much slower animation. And if we got up to just 10 fish in Chrome 6, you'd be down to about 12 frames per second here. And if we got up to 20 fish with a screen recorder going, it would be almost unplayable. You couldn't see movements. It'll be in a single digit frame per second. It would be really slow. And with hardware acceleration, well, it's just playable at a much higher frame rate. Uh, of course, it's not a game, but you can definitely see this is much nicer. 
So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the ACID-3 test. And of course, uh, Google Instant takes us there immediately. And Google has been pretty much mastering the ACID-3 test for a while now. Google Chrome pretty much dominated it. Google Chrome 5, Google Chrome 6, they both killed it. And Google Chrome 7 is no exception. You'll get up to 100 out of 100 in the ACID-3 test. And uh, one more thing I want to demonstrate to you guys is that, yeah, it does open really quickly. You can see over on the side here, I'm going to go ahead and drag a copy to my desktop so you can see how fast I actually open Google Chrome. And uh, you can count down the milliseconds from the time I click access the internet to the time I'm on the internet. So it is a very fast browser. There's been nothing to bring me back from Firefox, nothing to bring me to Opera, nothing that this browser can't do that any other browser can do. So if you've been on Internet Explorer, if you've been on Firefox or Opera or something, something just out there, maybe Chameleon or some other web browser, I highly suggest you give version 7 beta of Google Chrome a try as it is pretty much the best software I have ever used. And it's something I use more often than anything else on my computer. So this has been MKBHD with a sweet little video about Google Chrome 7. I'm getting back into the screencast. If you guys couldn't tell, this one is a more casual video. But I hope to talk to you guys in the next episode of MKBHD. And until then, thank you for watching. Peace.